Uh, my name is Dara McMullen, and I did the Masters in European Law. Uh, the experience in the program is really fantastic, I suppose, for a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason, I suppose, academically, was anyone who will be going to do this program will be coming out of an undergraduate degree. And I really think that, um, at least it was true of me, and I think it's true of others as well, that your grounding in European law isn't wonderful um, at undergraduate level. And then the opportunity to develop this at uh, postgraduate level is incredibly, incredibly valuable because European law affects pretty much every area of law that you will be practicing in. Um, as someone from any European country um, at the moment, and the grinding that I got here was fantastic, and I've used it even at a professional level, doing professional exams at home, it's, I find it's incredibly helpful because you just have this greater understanding that your peers who've just done an undergrad won't have. In terms of the way that every course is taught at master's level is fantastic. Um, you're in small class sizes and it's very interactive. It's not, it's not lecture style format at all. It's um, you really having a discussion and it gives you an opportunity to think independently. Um, that sort of independent thought is something that you wouldn't really have at, I suppose, at undergraduate level because you really are building up the foundations um, of your knowledge. But this was really challenging um, whatever your uh, preconceptions of a particular area might be with someone who's an expert in their field and it makes you reevaluate the way that you think about very fundamental things in European law or even more generally in, the, in different areas of law. Um, and that was fantastic. Um, and you learn as much from your peers as a lecturer because it's very collaborative. It's you're learning from the other very, very talented people that you have the opportunity to uh, spend time with in Edinburgh. It's, a, it's an extraordinary city. Um, most, people, um, most people know the reputation of Edinburgh is being beautiful, and it really is. That's the first thing that will uh, hit home to you. Um, it was always a city, because I'm from Ireland, it was relatively close to Edinburgh, but it's always a city that I wanted to come back to, and the opportunity to spend a year here is something that I will uh, cherish forever, because the whether it's socially, there's something going on in every, uh, in every street. I had the opportunity to spend uh, August here as well. I stayed through the summer and got to experience the fringe which is crazy because the population of the city triples um, you have and for that you've got a comedy show on every street if you want to have one and then you have I suppose the um, even the cultural things that are going on in Edinburgh beyond the fringe there's always a show on or there's always um, a restaurant or food to try and it's just it's a really exciting city because you feel that there's something happening all the time